Hi there, welcome back. My name is Adam Compton and today we're going to be doing another tool demo. The tool for today is going to be called Datasploit. It's a great little OSINT tool out there, OSINT being Open Source Intelligence. Uh, it's a way to gather information on various uh, individuals, companies, things of that nature uh, using data uh, data that's readily available on the internet, things of that nature. Uh, Datasploit itself can uh, be uh, used to find data on domain names, uh, company uh, domain names, stuff like that, email addresses, usernames, phone numbers, any number of things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get this cloned here and uh, we'll talk a little bit more on the flip side. All right, now that it's cloned, so let's go ahead and jump into the directory. Take a quick little look in here. Lots of little files in here, lots to take a look at. Uh, there is a readme file. Lots of information on there going through here. Go out to their GitHub page. Uh, it'll be in the show notes below. And you can see a lot more of it there. So let's go ahead and just go back. Is there anything of interest in here that we want to look at? Uh, following through the readme, it says that we need to do a install all the requirements here. So first, let's look at that. Requirements. Wow, there's lots of those. So pip-r or pip install-r. Let that go ahead and install. All right, so that's all installed. Um, yeah, as I said, there was quite a few of those, but uh, let's see here. Uh, 32 of those in the file. Uh, even with that, with Python and pip, it's fairly easy to get all that installed relatively quickly. So let's go ahead and clear the screen again. Is there anything else in here that we want to look at? Uh, yeah, let's look at the config file there, uh, the config sample. Let's cat that. And it appears that this is where you would go through and put in all of your um, API access. If you have the API uh, strings to apply for this, great, go ahead and do that. That'll help uh, make this a little more full featured for you. At the moment, I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and take a quick run at this here to see a uh, data .py -h. And all right, there's our help file. So what we have here is it can give you the help file. You can specify a target or you can give it a file that contains uh, targets in there. Uh, you can do active scans as well. You can tell it to be quiet, give it an output directory. So let's go ahead and try a simple one here. So let's go with dash i because I just want to test something quickly. And let's go test.com just to see what comes back here. All right, first thing that we see here is it says that it looks like a domain. So it's going to run domain OSET on it. Skipping zoom i, a few of these because they're disabled. Uh, GitHub, GitHub token is not configured, so it's going to skip that. So obviously, here, if you tried to apply your API tokens, it should work much better. Uh, let's see, uh, finding DNS records, great. Uh, who is information? And, okay, WikiLeaks, lots of stuff here uh, for test.com, I'm assuming. So, okay, let's keep going on down. Uh, Webalizing. Okay, uh, subdomains, lots of those identified. All right, so you have all of that, let's see. And clear. All right, let's try that again, but this time, let's not give it a domain, let's give it a user, uh, email address. Let's try my own here. Let that run. Okay, you can see, oh, let's jump back up there. As you can see here, it says that it looks like it is an email, so it's going to run email OSINT. Great. Uh, it's giving clear a uh, bit because it's disabled. It checks at Scribd. Okay, it finds a bunch of those. Uh, full contact. Okay. Uh, okay, check in bre uh, breach status. Has my email address been associated with any breaches? Yes, 13 of those. Wow. Uh, luckily, I change my password regularly, so not an issue there. So, jump on and down through here. So, let's get past all of that. Uh, mailbox layer, no API. Google, no API. Uh, searching for email on the dark net through uh, hackedemails.com. Okay, same sort of thing as we saw before, but here 
Does it say how many? Yeah, 32 times it's found here. Let's jump on down. Well, quite a few of those. Uh, searching SlideShare. Okay, found one of my uh, demos I did out there on SlideShare. Great. So, this has been a quick little, uh, let's go ahead and clear screen and do. All right, leave that up there. So, uh, this has been a quick little run through of data exploit. Obviously, I didn't test it to its uh, com full completeness there because I don't have all the API strings to apply, but you can get a feel for how it works there. This would be a great little tool if you're going to be doing an external assessment or going to be doing some sort of social engineering exercise. It would be great to find some information on your target, email addresses, uh, phone, stuff like that. Uh, if there's any leaked passwords, maybe some of those will still work. So, yeah, this is uh, take a look at it. And uh, maybe it'll work for you. Uh, if you have any issues with it, there is a GitHub page. Go ahead and issue, uh, post an issue with it. The developers would be, uh, I'm assuming, would be very happy to take any input and to be able to uh, address any concerns you may have. So, as always, if you find these uh, videos useful, please hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe if you want to be updated to any new ones as they come out. Hit the little bell icon down there to make sure you get notified. And as always, thank you and have an awesome and wonderful day. Thank you.